Hello everyone. The topic of this section is Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. Adobe Experience Platform Debugger is a browser plugin. It is a tool specially used for debugging of Adobe products officially launched by Adobe. This is its logo. It needs to be distinguished from Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger. The one on the left is Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger. The one on the right is Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. The reason for the launch of Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. It is because Adobe has launched the Adobe Experience Platform Web SDK deployment method. Referred to as AEP Web SDK for short. Which needs to be compatible with this new deployment method, so the Adobe Experience Platform Debugger was launched. If you are deploying through ordinary methods, then you can use Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger and Adobe Experience Platform Debugger to debug. If you deploy through the AEP Web SDK, you can only debug through the Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. This section mainly talks about the three operations of Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. The first is add the debugger. The second is to use the debugger for debugging. The third is switch environment with debugger. Next, let's look at the first one, add the debugger. Adobe Experience Platform Debugger is a plugin on Chrome. Add the debugger is to install this plugin on the browser. You can search for this plugin in the Chrome Web Store. Sometimes it will not be searched. Then you directly click this link to install it. This is the Adobe Experience Platform Debugger plugin. Click Add to Chrome. Click Add Extensions. You can see its logo in this place. Indicates that it has been installed. This is Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. This is Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger. Need to distinguish. Next, look at the second demo, use the debugger for debugging. Just use Adobe Experience Platform Debugger to debug. First open a website that needs to be debugged. Here we open the BMW USA website. Then open Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. After returning to the page and refreshing it. Adobe Experience Platform Debugger automatically records the data. Summary is the summary of the data. You can find out which Adobe products are deployed on this website here. From here we can know that it is deployed with Adobe Analytics, Adobe Audience Manager, Adobe Launch, Adobe Experience Cloud ID Service and Adobe Target. Solutions contains data transmitted by specific products. One thing to note is the AEP Web SDK. This new feature is also the reason why the Adobe Experience Platform Debugger was launched. If you are deploying with the AEP Web SDK, then the test is to look at this place. Logs can see some trigger rules. There can be two types, one is client and the other is edge. Client is the common deployment method. Edge is the deployment method through AEP Web SDK. If you deploy through AEP Web SDK, then you must look at the information in Edge. Network here is a request for data sent to Adobe, and all data sent to Adobe can be found here. Event shows the distribution of events triggered by each Adobe product. Auditor will audit your configuration and will prompt you which deployment has problems, which may require you to adjust. Settings is to change the style and color of this center face.
During the test, the most important thing is to look at the information in solutions, such as Adobe Target. These are the data sent to Adobe Target. Check whether the data passed inside is accurate. If it is accurate, then the setting is fine. If it is not accurate, then the setting is wrong. Need to reset. This is the usage of debugging. The last one is switch environment with debugger. For example, I want to debug my Adobe launch library code on the BMW USA site, but this site is not mine. It is impossible for me to add Adobe launch library code to debug on this site. But we can use Adobe Experience Platform Debugger to replace it. The effect of the replacement is that your library code is running on the BMW USA site, and then you can test whether the configuration on the library code is accurate. The replacement location is configuration in launch. There are two ways. One is that the library code has been deployed on the page, and hope to replace the original one with your own. One is that there is no library code deployed on the page, and it is directly injected into you. What we use here is replace. At this place. Click replace. Paste your library code directly here. Click apply. Click save. Return to the site and refresh the interface. You can go to the test. These are the common usages of Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. Next, summarize the usage of Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger and Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. Only Adobe Experience Platform Debugger supports AEP Web SDK testing, so if you deploy through AEP Web SDK, you must use Adobe Experience Platform Debugger. The usage of Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger is to open the page first, and then open Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger, it will automatically record the data. And Adobe Experience Platform Debugger, after opening the page, open Adobe Experience Platform Debugger, return to the page to refresh, Adobe Experience Platform Debugger will record the data. That's it for this section.